As far as the accusations with him did it, I could care less what the man got going on in his personal life. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, you know, focus yeah, on things. Yeah. I don't even entertain all that. You know what I'm saying? That's not my business. But as far as the reform and what they got going on upstate, man, they are most definitely bringing about impact up there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Why you steady hating? I'm steady trying to figure it out. That's it, man. I want to ask you a couple more questions before I get you off here. Um, one, one, Meek Mills, uh-huh. uh, and he going through a lot right now. He is? As far as uh, people coming for him about uh, the gay accusations uh-huh. of P. Diddy. But he also uh, had some good news a few months back about reform. Okay. About, you know, prison reform mm-hmm. and doing some stuff with what he had faced and changing some rules and some regulations and laws with the people he ain't with. Mm-hmm. Like what does this taunt what he's doing or 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 do you think do you see him making it through this just fine? Uh he's gonna make it through just fine. Um the work that they doing up there with the reform that they have going, that can't be denied. This man is getting laws changed. This man is getting people that's on probation and locked up for you know, a bike or some bullshit. He getting these people out. Like, man, you can't discredit the work that him and his team is putting forth. As far as the accusations with him did it, I could care less what the man got going on in his personal life. You know what I'm saying? I don't even you know, focus yeah, on things. I don't even entertain all that. You know what I'm saying? That's not my business. But as far as the reform and what they got going on upstate, man, they are most definitely bringing about impact up there. Is there any more artists that you've been working with lately? Uh, you know, as far as reform, anybody else reach out to, you know, try to, you know, I try will to help? say this. Uh, I give a shout out to Yellow Beezy. Yellow Beezy tried to rock out with you. Oh uh, well, me and Yellow gonna rock out, man. Um, we had an opportunity to go down to the juvenile. You know, in the juveniles, they send us them boys to like boot camp, placement centers, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take uh Lady J, Yellow Beezy. He gonna go up in there, use his platform and his influence to rock the youth. That's so hard. um I really that was I I I respected it because that's one of the first artists up out of my city, you know what I'm saying, that's using his platform to push the reform agenda. You know, I get love from all over the country. Yeah. But it's a different type of When you of, get it at home. When you get it at home, you know what I'm saying? I've always been a yellow fan, man. Always. Yeah, always I always rock with him. Uh, uh, I, I I great, great artist as far as the way that he his music was for me. Uh-huh. For and his and, and the timing when he was doing his movement, when he had the song with uh, Migos, Gucci Man, and all that other stuff. Uh, but even before that, when he was trapping designer, uh-huh. so to see you link with him and in the inner city get to see that, right? I think it's gonna be big for him as well as you, right? Not just you, but him as well, because I think a lot of times people want to see that side of him, you know, because in in the city. You know, they expect a lot, bro. Yeah, man, uh, like I say, man, this this will be my first time working with Yellow. But, like, I just thought it was cool that I'm like, damn, homie going to use this platform to rock the youth. You know, that's what it's about for me, man. I, I got my own money. I got my own platform. Come I on, do man. my own thing. Kill so I don't ne- Yeah, I don't necessarily need you for nothing like that. What I need you for is I want you to use your platform to show the little homies, hey, man, you can be successful like this, bro. That's hard. You you ain't necessarily got to rob nobody. You ain't got to sell no dope. You can go make a song. You can go drive a truck. You can go cut some hair. You can go be a comedian. I remember talking to Bubba Dub in my yard, and I was telling bro, like, damn, that's crazy how, you know, we able to monetize ourselves, you know what I'm saying, yeah, right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, anything that you doing, you can just monetize it. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So no, I just talking to you about the food. Yeah, we <laughs> have we we have so many different lanes and avenues to produce income that we don't have to go do nothing crazy that's gonna risk our freedom and our lives. You hear me? The old heads they lie to us. Yeah. They got the we gotta stop giving the little homies bad game. That's hard. They they got the little homies thinking that they gotta do X Y and Z to be successful. You is not the big homie. You don't even have a job. Man, but you know, you have a brand now and it's something different. You know what I mean? Your brand is everything that you embody, you know, right. as far as the way you move. The truck and the, that, that's a part of the reform. All that stuff is wrapped in a bow and that's that's boss man Brewster. Yes, and sir. that's pretty much what's what's rolling the whole ball. So you definitely have made a mark in the game, bro. That's and a thank good thank you thing. so much, bro. Man, I, I appreciate you because I'm I letting you talk about these books too. Hold on, I got a question. So what's the definition of a big homie anyway? Because I know you were oh, saying Oh, that's that. an elder statesman. That's 
someone that can give guidance. That's someone that can give information. That's someone that can prevent you from making the mistakes that they've already made. That's someone that can set you in a different trajectory. Tra trajectory within your life. That's the big homie. If okay. you somebody who can't do me, you all you can do is tell me, hey, go rob them. Hit this lick. Sell this dough. Do this. Do that. You's a clown. I mean, you is not the big homie. You is not the big homie if you're not even the big homie of your own kids. Your own kids don't even look up to you and respect you. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no car. You don't even got your own crib. How is you the big homie? All you did was shoot somebody back in 9-3. Damn. And it's big homie and Come OG on. the same thing? It's the same thing, just different terminologies because okay. of the the uh generations or whatnot. But but they do I have relinquished them their rights to be called big homie. Bruce is the big homie. Big re big reform is the big homie. That's that's what we doing. Big reform is the big homie. I have relinquished you guys the rights to be talking about your big homie. You is not big homie. You ain't got no job, bro. Damn. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.